Welcome back to the Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog Part 5 where in the last video uh, Tails now was interviewing Blaze and Roll and they had us going to a little small adventure to find the Faber J uh, Chaos A. And they mentioned there was three of them on the ship but we went through that little adventure we had a little plan and we finally got it. We thought that it was a bomb at first but eventually it was just a timer. But we successfully got to the egg and found out it was a hidden jewel inside the eggs and we basically got them. And by the meantime, we was uh, checking the alibi to see that it was at and both the alibi seemed to be checked out. One was going, I believe Rogue was going around looking for blueprints uh, to find out where the egg is. And Blaze was basically in there gambling her behind law with the casino machines, slot machines. So we are on the way to interview one another suspicious character Sh shadow he's been basically walking up and down locking doors and not saying much anything as a why so now shadow it's your turn could you reaper could you open the wardrobe please sure wait is there a reason you want me to do it what if something falls out oh worse something leaps out I just think you should. Alright, watch a pro. Hey, 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 cough, cough, hey! All this stuff, you opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. Ha, <laughs> ha, hey. Okay. Hey, it's a big cows band. It was a jam. Okay. That was spiritual. I feel reawakening. Hey, it's a big cow's band. Where's it, Diddy? Oh, that was pretty bad. They don't miss. Those cows understand music. No, they horrible. There's another robot at home, just doing his thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell us to do something? Oh no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, Robotic Arms, can you... Give me a high five. It doesn't seem to be listening to you. But hey, I can't give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Let's see. There's another Robotic Arms just doing his thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, Robotic Arms, can you bring me a cola? Nope, it's not listening. Shot, I'm quite parched too. I could run and get a chaos cola for you. I know, I'll be alright. Thanks, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here after all. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We made Thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip. But all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shed a bit like on this whole case. Here is Sharon's carrot. Can you please tell us? No way. Journalist reporter Emmy Rose is always the first to reveal a scoop. We read the chatter channel, talk to him, then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold it for you. I'm surprised. Oh, I've seen this already. Clues, it's hot tip, do time. I think we should have been light. No, wait, it's always the first to reveal scoop. We ready to chat, shall talk to him. Yeah, I'll be ready. Who cares what she seems to have I'm so close to getting a scoop of the session, I can feel it. Alright, let's see. Let's go, Shadow. Okay, he's over there. Reaper, we can't move until we interrogate Shadow. Oh yeah, I guess I was getting a bit ahead of myself. I guess you were. Oh, better go back to the investigation. Okay. Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Reaper, and you've been disappointing every time. Are you going to get sad again if nothing in the trash bin, Reaper? Uh. That's always something in the trash bin. Sorry. All right, let's check the trash bin. What? This? Ha ha ha. 
something printed out on the front page of a ticket website is for the band Hot Honey. Industry, Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? That's added to our inventory. Are we sure this is just trash? I'll let you know, Harry. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumple paper is added to inventory. Alright. No. No. Here. Okay. Kinda curious what it is. Huh. Keys. A key ring. Must be Shadow the locksmith? Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring is added to inventory. Seems a printer is hooked up to a computer. Can we print something? Yeah. Huh? This printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stop me. And there you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I uh quite set this back onto the printer. Alright. They told us about this in my interview. The long chat computer complete with internet access for casual browser. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on a computer and missing these gorgeous views though. I feel like if you use a computer here, you must really need to use it. Alright. Yeah, we press something. He's on the boat. Hang on, I think I remember which button to press. Is it really that complicated? Have you ever had a printer work when you wanted to? Fair enough. And yeah, works like a charm. Here you go. Yep, it's exactly what I asked for. It's uh, quite set it back on the printer. Alright. Huh. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. These windows are huge, what a view. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just wanted to hop out and take a dip into the ocean. If the train wasn't so nice to be on, I agree. Despite the merger of nature in the air, despite the merger of nature in the air, I just thought the same thing. Alright, let's go to you. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you. I ask that you leave me be. That stare so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, Ashley. Reaper, we certainly will not. Oh, that's right. You'll, you'll tell me the same thing. You want us to leave, but we're not going to leave. We need to ask you something, buddy. Huh, I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a little more first? Okay. Huh. What's this? You got your two fight caught up. Oh, question for what? You know Jervis can't be the murderer, remember? We learned the trade would come visit any weapons brought on board. But you had your hammer the whole time. That's a good point. Simple, the birthday girl get the birthday girl wants. And don't go anywhere without my hammer. Ah, birthday law. We should have known. Everyone knows the birthday rules. Makes sense to me. Now, no more questions. We ready to chat a shadow. Talk to him. I'll be ready. That's a, uh, let's see. Skip all this. I heard Sharon's carrying. Alright, never mind. Okay, let's see what else we... It seems like we're missing something. Are we missing something? Can we print something? I think we print this already. I just want to make sure I don't want to get it. I think we got everything here. Let's check out what we got. Huh. Let's see. Presenting Big Chaos Band. Take a beat. Let's go for that Okay. Oh, what's this? 
Huh, Tail, do you see this? A pull strain. Reaper? What? It's gotta activate something. What? The back of a wardrobe open? There is a full patches way back here. Alright, come on, we have to see where it leads. He's curious, this must mean something big. This is the library. There's a secret passage from the launch to the library. I don't believe it. Shh, quiet. Back to the patches before they spot us. Uh, uh, we need to add that to our inventory. Hidden patches added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interview Shadow and find out what's really happening. Why did you come over here? Cause we got some questions to ask you, Shadow. You've been suspicious the whole time, buddy. We need to find out what's going on with you. Shadow, we have a question for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we question everyone on the train and every single person that's mission running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and and I know why. But why are you button in? Pray tell why was I locking all the doors? Hey hey, time to review my hot tip. Hope everyone ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the launch room is the only door that leads to the conductor car. Following. So Shadow was locking all the door for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Okay. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor car, they locked all the uh, all the other so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure congestion, you all get out and let me be. Well, my sources can't back up these claims, they will remain anonymous. But I think the point stands. My sources claim they never saw Sonic again after he went to conduct the car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave conduct the car. Reckless suspicious speculation? Is this logic sound right though? Was Shadows trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train with Logic Amy. If Shadow did lock the doors to conduct the door in prison Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. Good point. I think Reaper and I can't explain the car change, however... Reaper, what evidence do you have that shows Sonic could have been got, could have got into the dining car? Uh, could have got the key. No, that's feel wrong. What piece of evidence showed that how Sonic could have ended up at the dining car? This trap door. Okay, just get my thoughts in order. Oh. oh, shoot. Oh, no. I didn't get it. Enough rings. Dang it. Alright. Ah, thought I had it. I'll give it another try. Okay, we got it this time. We got it. We got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I thought I had it. Alright, let's go. We, we got it. Oh, no. Uh... Not enough frames. Ah, oh, shit. We gotta try that again. Okay, give it a try. We got this. Can we get it? Oh, 
shield. There we go. Reaper and I found a hidden passage in a wardrobe that leads right to the library. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. That's in work, Reaper. Huh, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in a conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car onto the way out, and dropped the body off at the dime. Uh, Shadow don't strike to me that type of person would do that. It don't make sense for him to do that. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, of course. This is just a theory. I, uh don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. Hot scenes telling I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll hear me once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passages and appeared in the library car, then how did SBO event did not see him? Well, uh, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. People, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, SBO event didn't see Shadow because... Vector was with Knuckles, for sure. That's true, Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow into the library card. See, things are falling into place, but what about Espio? I believe what Espio was hiding behind a bookshelf at the table reading. Espio reading the... Espio reading in the library checks out, but that's what he told me too. He's lying. Uh-oh. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for SPL, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why you were why were you even searching for SPO, huh? If you must know, I need to give him the key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his key? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually everyone but us seemed to have one. That's true. Everyone been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys. Yeah, he has been passing out keys. Perhaps Reaper, Reaper and I can further validate Shadow's claim. We can do what? Reaper, what evidence supports Shadow claim he was giving us away keys? That feels good. Now to get to my thoughts in order. Oh, here we go again. Come on, Reaper, stay focused on it. You got this. There's only one reason exact there's only one reason there is exactly why two keys are on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give SBO and Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Could one of those be for him? I have my own key on you know me. Eh, interesting. So let's say Shadow tell the truth, then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic murder? I think Reba and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Have everyone today give you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah, everyone being so sweet. You say most everyone. So who the person who didn't give it to you? No, just some shadow and Sonic hasn't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood, thanks Amy. 
Reefer? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exit, and he gave everyone a station in their car a key, except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away, Shadow could find us. Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy, you and I started in the dining room. He could have given us a key there if he wanted to. That's a compelling argument, so maybe... Shadow wants to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Now that's Reaper, I'm making a leap here, but stick with me now. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh, how dare you, Reaper? Show me evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, okay, okay. Tells think Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that what evidence showed what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? There's no piece of paper here. That feels right. Phew, just organizing my thoughts. Oh no. Here we go. 65! Wow! I missed it, I knew it. Yeah, it's here. Oh my god, I barely got it. Barely got that. Sponsored by Reaper Dreamcast. You went routine through the trash. Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash pan. That's who the printer. It's a it's of a band ticket website. Tells, don't. Guys, ah, this is Hot Honey website. No way, I love them. Oh, uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm kind of obsessed with. Jerry B. Heat side, my current favorite. All the members has B after their name. Yes, he he, isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their ticket is really hard to get. You have to be ready online at specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question is, why would this paper found in trash car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figure things out soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey Band tickets website is this because Shadow was buying tickets. What? Shadow? Is this true? Are you trying to give me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow! I used that printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. When you log onto the website, did you print the home page by accident? How the. Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not f fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this after I accuse you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of bed. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise was ruined anyway. Oh, probably our fault there. Ah, sorry. That's all the detective job, I suppose. Huh. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worry about for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remember Amy has never seen Hot Honey Live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally print the home page. The concert ticket weren't actually on sale, I realized, but it will be available soon. Is that the appointment you was keeping speak of? The time you were able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely, I haven't purchased a ticket yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away a while I waited to buy the ticket, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out the key so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here, somehow. It because the conductor gave me this. The key opened up any door on the train. I got into every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. 
I should have guessed, is a well-known privilege. Shadow. Uh, your chest is so sweet, and after I accuse you too. How about this? Let's buy the ticket later in. To make it up for you, you can come with me. Uh, I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. Hey, I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. It's fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect a lot of pictures from the concert, you two. Huh? Seems a mystery of Shadow Locked Door has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source of your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may not be. My credibility may be shot, but my principal must stay attacked. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Reaper, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The four pictures becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We pinned down Sonic Mars for good. Right on. Let's do it. Come on to the conductor car. I wonder what we find there. The conductor car, I'm sure. And maybe I haven't seen conductor in a while. Hope he's alright. Maybe exit. I can't believe a secret patch was here the whole time. That would have been very useful. Yeah, the library close to the bathroom, it would be really convenient. I see our priorities are different. Oh, we can't go there. Ready to go to conduct the car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. Should, re should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him, he left the dining car. Something clearly has happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Alright, uh, I'm going to end the gameplay right here of the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And we have a couple more people to help us out. We have Amy and of course Shadow to help us out. We find out why Shadow was going around locking doors because he was looking for tickets to a concert for Amy for her birthday. But we'll be back until next time on part 6 of the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm out.